Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your uh, urgent spirit guide tarot messages this week. I almost called it a weekly thing. I guess I could make it a weekly thing, Scorpio, but we're not doing that, going down that road yet. But I also do your weekly tarot general messages, Scorpio, as well as your weekly <laughs> you versus them tarot readings, which I'll leave links to both of them over here. Uh, clearly, I already do enough weeklies enough. I don't need to do another weekly thing, right? But when it comes to my tarot messages, uh, tarot readings. Uh, oh my gosh, Scorpio, get it out there, right? When it comes to my tarot readings, Scorpio, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Scorpio. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, Scorpio, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Scorpio. Now, if you find some cards that resonate with you, Scorpio, I would really appreciate for you to take the extra time to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel out so much and I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra time to do that for me. As well as let me know in the comments below which card did call out to you and how it did because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. So yeah, just would like to, for you to do that for me. Uh, as well as uh, Scorpio, I want to mention that before we get into this reading, I just want to say that remember that this is just some tarot cards, right? And tarot reading. This is your life to live, not mine. So it's unfair for me to tell you what you should do with your life, how you should live your life, right? Because it's ultimately your life to live, not mine. Don't allow some tarot cards to just completely dictate the way that you live your life. So with all that in mind, let's start getting into your urgent spirit guide messages, Scorpio, and see what's going on. What messages we got coming for you. You guys actually got extra cards. Um, don't tell on you the other sign, Scorpio. So interesting. Really interesting, actually, <laughs> how these cards are coming out for you, Scorpio. So we will, as I like reposition, <laughs> we will talk about your Grasshopper Spirit card first. Number 30 equaling to 3 for numerology, Scorpio. This is talking about taking a leap of faith. And you will, I will get into why this is a really interesting card that you get. Actually, a lot of these cards are really interesting for, and for different reasons, which I'll explain, obviously. Um self-explanatory right when it talks about taking a leap of faith do i really need to get into too much detail about it scorpio there's something that you probably have been on the uh, fence about doing in regards to seemingly some type of passionate project of yours i'm going to be honest mm -mm. I've been speaking so long, Scorpio. I'm so sorry that you guys are getting such a <laughs> unrefined version of your reading. But um, as I voice crack as well, I'm just falling apart, honey. Let me get into this reading now. But yeah, taking a leap of faith, I do feel like there has been, for that card to come forward, and especially with the Fool card, I guess I'll just bring it up here. Both cards are literally like taking that leap of faith, taking a chance on something, Scorpio. So that's why I say there does seem to be some type of resistance or hesitation, I guess I would say more so. I'm going to say hesitation, Scorpio. There does seem to be some hesitation on your part, part of taking a leap of faith on something, of taking a chance, uh, you know, really just putting yourself out there. Um, so we'll get into the messages more obviously as we go down this, but something else I want to just point out to you, can't take all those, it's the Peacock card. This is, why, this is where it's getting a little bit more interesting to me, Scorpio, because it's like, Taking a leap of faith with the grasshopper spirit. Taking a leap of faith with the fool card. And it's just like, you take this leap of faith and let yourself stand out and be noticed, right? This is probably what that hesitation or that resistance is on your side, Scorpio, where it's just like, some of you guys may honestly feel like you're not ready to be noticed. Some of you guys, you know, if you, for my Scorpios that are trying to get into the spotlight, maybe there's this level of um, insecurity of like having a bunch of eyes on you. Or maybe like there's like this insecurity like you don't want to take a leap of faith because there are eyes watching you and you don't want to fall f like you f your fear is like falling flat on your face and looking like a fool to them perhaps right or just looking at maybe not even towards a specific person you just don't want to look like a fool so kind of letting that pride get in the way honey right I'm going to definitely piss off some Scorpios in this reading I can tell calling y'all out um that's fine though uh, 
<laughs> we have as well for you the judgment card and the eight of wands. So this is the action card. This is notice with the beautiful deck, by the way. Um, funnily enough, actually, I, this is my newest deck. No one asked me this, of course, but, um, my dear, one of my closest Scorpio friends actually got me this tarot deck, um, which the first one I seen that was circular. So I just enjoy it because I know she's a Scorpio and so on the chance that she does see this video and just like, it makes me happy using this deck. But um, yeah, this is a card of asking for you to take action, Scorpio. This is, a, I wanted to point out, I don't think I ever did because I wanted to talk about who gave me this deck. Um, this is like a portal almost. I mean, I see this as a portal for this deck. And with um, other judgment decks, I don't believe it's shaped in the imagery artwork is in this way. But I kind of see this kind of like a, uh, you know, for, for I guess some of y'all may not know if you're not into tarot, but for the Four of Wands, maybe we'll pull that for you later on. Um, it's viewed as like the 1111 card or that portal card. This kind of seems like a one, like an 11 card to me and still like that same portal. So it's almost like, because when I see the Four of Wands, usually Scorpio, I'm just like, okay, this is already in the bag. All this person needs to do is just walk forward into this opportunity. There's not really much that you have to create. You just kind of have to just do it, right? Very much so that Nike <laughs> slogan. Um, so when you have it with this, it's like literally take a leap of faith, Scorpio, and just do something. Stop having like, the, I mean, if only it was as easy as me just saying, just stop doing something. If it's that easy, right, then you would just do it. But you know, look at why it is that you don't want to take this leap of faith. Look at why it is that you might not want to have like the spotlight shined on you. And if you do want the spotlight shined on you, why are you not taking that leap of faith so you can get that spotlight taken or get that spotlight on you, right? I do feel like you're not going to... I get the sense, Scorpio, that some of you guys are waiting for something to be a little bit, look a little bit more promising or you're waiting for just a little bit more, right? You're probably like waiting just to like a little bit and like looking for another sign or looking for things to just like pan out a little bit more. Like you're looking for, I like to say looking for another breadcrumb before you take action on something. And I kind of feel like with this mouse spirit coming in, they're, they're, the signs are already all there. The mouse spirit says you're overlooking some important details. So pay attention, closer attention to what's going on. Now Scorpio, I say like, some of you guys are seemingly waiting for something like waiting for more signs. And I feel like the signs are already there. That portal is already here for you to walk through Scorpio. You may just be overlooking it. You may just not be considering the potential or you're overlooking it. And, and on, because on a subconscious level, you're not quite ready mentally for that success. You're not ready for that type of attention being put on you. Right. So that's something that you need to look at. This is like, it's interesting. I said it was interesting because you got two extra, like I usually only do one. I did only one for all the other uh, signs, I'm pretty sure. But you guys are the only ones that got two. So, and it's just interesting how they all play out together. Um, your y'all Scorpio's reading so far, I feel the most aligned to in the sense of, not that it resonates with me personally, even if I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, but I feel the most spiritually connected with this, um, energy with Scorpio's energy and relaying messages from spirit. I really do feel like more so lets me know that spirits really like being extremely present in this reading. Dare I say they're probably leaving some breadcrumbs in this reading or probably will pull out a card. Um, <laughs> I'll pull out a card that really just like calls to you in specific for a very specific personal reason for you. Probably the fool for a lot of you guys since it did come out with this leap of faith. Um, Let's continue on though. Y'all didn't ask for that. Uh, we have here, what do we want to start with? We go with this 10 of water, 10 of swords first hunting. So this 10 of swords, maybe you're afraid of falling flat on your face. This is probably what it is that you're afraid of is this card. So this could be a sense of, here's the thing, the, the 10 of swords here, I, these wounds were already there, right? The if, the swords were already in your back before like you were even considering taking a leap of faith in regards to something. So like you already had these swords stabbed in your back, dramatic, right? Um, before you started going down this path I'm getting of that you wanted to take a leap of faith in. Like you're already burned is what I'm trying to say. You are already burned by somebody or something. And so this is probably what's holding you back is probably from some past pains that you need to like work through. I am gonna put this to the side actually so we can get some clarification on this later on, see what we can deep dive with that, Scorpio. 
Um, but then we have the Queen of Cups as well. I feel like the Queen of Cups is, this, is the healing process that you need to go through to overcome this Ten of Swords, right? We're not necessarily, I don't like seeing it as overcoming it, right? Because those scars are always going to be there after you take those swords out, which means like you're, there's always going to be some essence of that trauma. There's always going to be some essence of that pain that you experienced. Um, from some type of outside event, whether it's through a person or an event, right? But the Queen of Cups comes in where it's just like, you know what? Yeah, I was stabbed 10 times in the back. Yeah, I have these scars. Yeah, I have these wounds. But you're going to rise above. You're going to heal it through tending to your emotional needs, right? It probably does seem to be like a lot more emotionally charged for what it is that's stopping you from going into this portal going and taking like just taking that leap of faith it does seem to be this sense of i'm gonna say i might go out on the limb and say that we're dealing with like a i'm dealing with a pretty insecure scorpio even if you don't want to admit it um that probably does sound super gaslighty doesn't it scorpio <laughs> like i feel like because I'm seeing this in my perspective, Scorpio, it's like, I feel like you kind of already see this portal. I see this as you, like, to just take a leap of faith, you kind of already need to have an idea of what it is that you want to take a leap of faith on, right? You kind of, like, you're not falling back into this water without knowing that there's a pool there in the first place, right? So it's like, you're aware of something. You're aware something would turn out pretty well, but then there's like the, this voice in the back of your head where the insecurity that comes through, that you just don't want that light shined on you, right? Or yeah, like you don't want the focus on you because if the focus is on you, that's when your insecurities would bubble up. That's when you'd be like, oh, what if they see like those past scars from this 10 of uh, swords, right? So you kind of need to love yourself a little bit more. The Queen of Cups is all about that self-love, self-acceptance, um, acceptance of other people as well, Scorpio. So here's the thing. Now, I'm going to speak in terms of like, for my Scorpios that are just trying to get noticed, trying to be in the public eye, but it doesn't have to be in this way, Scorpio. I'm just doing it because of this Peacock card. If you want to put yourself out there, if you want to be seen, if you want to have these accomplishments, like, yeah, you can have a certain level of being afraid of being judged, right? But it's kind of like when you go to a gym. Everyone, when you first go to a gym, everyone just thinks that everyone's just staring at them when in reality, no one cares. No one's looking at you. Everyone's in their own world. But you don't realize it until after you go to the gym enough and you realize that it's like, wait, well, wait a minute. I'm not paying attention to anybody else. No one's actually paying attention to me. It's just me. It's just yourself convincing yourself of the, like what's like that everyone's focusing on you when it's not actually the case. And you only think that because you're so insecure. You're like, oh, everyone's just paying attention to my insecurities, right? And that's just not the case. And for some of you Scorpios, not all of you, for some of you, you might have this type of attitude because you might have a harsher view of not only yourself, but of, of other people. So you like, I don't want to use the gym example because I don't mean it in like a mean spirited way. So like, let's say for example, you know, this is a perfect example, makeup, right? Um, <laughs> probably not for most of you, but uh, when you do like makeup or when you do like electrical or something like even landscaping right you have an eye for it so you are able to pay attention to things that most people wouldn't notice so because you have like a little bit of a critical eye you, we all judge people right that's just natural it's some, some for scorpio to try to type to me right now saying i don't judge people you're lying <laughs> like we're a human we they like we do judge like we judge things before we even decide to take action or not right maybe you, the way for you to overcome this fear right to overcome this pain is to have like a more wholesome view of the world around you right if you feel like all eyes are going to turn against you what kind of relationship do you have with when you see other people go out to that gym right do you look at other people when <laughs> you go to the gym and judge them i mean whether you do or not um if you don't then you can look at it and be like well if i'm not judging them they're not going to judge me either probably right and if you do this is probably just from your own perspective, right? And that's like a 
once you overcome the need or like not the need or i hope i'm wording this properly once you like overcome that bit of where you're being over analytical towards them right so let's say that you're into like that makeup right so you're able to notice when someone's like eyeshadow isn't blended as well or like you notice in someone's yard and landscaping like their grass lines or i don't know what anything to do with line <laughs> landscaping like you just notice like the land is uneven whatever it is it's, your land isn't scaped honey um Perhaps you have like this fear because it's like, you know, from your mind of like how critical you are of other people. So say this all to say, not to chastise you, Scorpio, because we all do it at some point in our lives. But if you keep on thinking, if you have this constant thinking that other people are going to just backstab you or judge you, right? Look at what, see how you do things, see how you treat other people. Do you treat people that way as well? overcome it so then it's not a thought in your mind if you don't treat people that way already or do that then there's no reason for like in my eyes it's not logical to think that other people would be doing that to you right i feel like it, you only consider these types of possibilities if you yourself do it or you yourself have had continuous experiences with it and i i don't know i just feel like especially with this judgment card and just the need to take action you kind of just need to get out of your head and stop thinking that people are out to judge you however that means for you however like what however you got to that consensus in the first place of um that judgment and that fear of judgment in the first place, right? Whether it's through your own projections or insecurities or what have you. Such a long-winded thing. I apologize, Scorpio, but I hope I got my point across. I hope that Spiel gave a little bit of an aha moment for some of y'all. But truly, um, people are not, like, people really don't care about what other people are doing. The only people that are going to be judging are people that were going to judge you anyways, right? Truly, like, I don't know. Get out of your head, Scorpio. <laughs> Queen of Wands comes in with the Eight of Wands. This is where it's just like you're getting in tune. Once you start, I really just get the sense, Scorpio, of once you address your insecurities and get out of your head, essentially, and it's kind of just allow yourself to be, allow yourself to just claim your power and to just do what it is that you want to do for the sake of yourself, not the sake of like trying to impress somebody. And you just do it from sheer enjoyment you're going to be really happy with how things turn out for you. I truly just do feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, the biggest resistance comes in of just like the fear of other people's perceptions or the fear of some type of pain um, coming towards you, right? So we have the Justice card and the Six of Cups coming in as well to close off this part of this reading. Scorpio, I do just get this sense of yeah, with the Six of Cups, this lets me know this has been a long-standing issue more than just, like, with this situation, Scorpio, of, like, we'll call it insecurity or just, like, the afraid of being judged, and that's why you don't take action. I feel like you, it's kind of like a pattern that's happened in your life for a while now, for quite some time, and so that's what it is that you want to just bring into balance through some type of action. Do whatever action need, you need to do to bring things back into balance, whether that's through you having just a kinder view of yourself or a kinder view of the world around you um whatever it is just let's address it so that way you can just finally go ahead and walk into this beautiful portal right and finally take that action take that leap of faith so let's just get a quick synopsis of what it is that we can look forward to for scorpio what blessings are to come <laughs> blessings that come in indeed for you all right beautiful scorpio so you know how i was saying like before i was like i don't think there's any other judgment card um in t normal tarot that shows this that shows like a portal we have a judgment card so i can reference this to you judgment's following you action um see there's no portal here i don't know why it was so important for me for you <laughs> to show that to y'all <laughs> but um judgment's happening it's through action through you finally taking action towards what it is that you're being defensive or closed off about with this two of swords um scorpio this is usually when the two of swords comes in it's also like someone that's kind of trying to pretend that there isn't a problem and just kind of being like oh if i turn a blind eye or if i pretend that that's if, if i just pretend that i don't have insecurities then hopefully they'll fade away that's not the case honey you have to address the heart of the problem you're not going to get anything else um, any other breadcrumbs from this, you just have to take action. And it's through you taking action, Scorpio, that's when you get to your star moment. The star card is that, it's literally the card that says wish fulfillment. So Scorpio, whatever that wish fulfillment is for you, something that you probably felt was a little bit unattainable, 
in some aspect um once you take action you know things just work out for you scorpio i i don't know what it is that i'm not really getting a gauge on something in specific obviously since this is just a general spirit guide messages but it's just like once you just take that leap of faith get out of your head stop having this fear of being judged um or having people like be critical of you like you're gonna just blossom like i feel like that's the only thing that's really weighing you down like i'm just seeing like a scorpio being weighed down with an amp by an anvil being tied to them and just weighing them down heavily like which is really signifying to me like how much this is bringing you down and i feel like it's just like your perception of yourself um based off of just your own perception of yourself and like past traumas that have happened or past pain that's happened or the perception that you have of other people and you think they're going to have that same perception of you and the best way to identify or to handle that is to just change your perspective or your perception of other people have a kind of view of them not to say like again i know it's kind of making it seem like um you're a judgy mean person scorpio and i don't mean that it just means like uh i mean we all need to have that moment of being called out sometimes where it's like um we might just be a little bit overcritical of other people and it's through that being critical of other people you end up being critical of yourself so scorpio i guess i did i did say at the beginning i was gonna step on some toes with this but i really hope i feel like the stepping on the toes was is essential for you guys and i feel like yeah i feel like you guys once you if, if it's neat stepping on your toes that gives you your aha moment that helps you wake up to finally take action to really claim your power then i guess it's worth it right even if i do piss off some scorpios along the way but i say it all with love um but yeah scorpio that's the reading that i have for you thank you so much for allowing me to do this and having patience as i was just like jumbled so jumbled for y'all's reading but um i really did enjoy this reading a lot so if you did enjoy this reading as well remember to give this video a like and subscribe my scorpio and then be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, Scorpio, I'll connect with you soon.